Hello, everybody, and welcome to Starship Adventures. My name's Ian, and this morning, we're going to talk about some, well, some dishonest business practices when it comes to these little radios. And I think it's important that people need to understand there's a lot to know about these little radios that people don't seem to understand. Um, these are Chinese radios. They're made in China. This is one's made by Baofeng. There's also TYT and Radioity and a bunch of others. Uh, they're generally made at several factories over in China, uh, and they're all very similar in nature. Okay, this is a uh, UV. I think it's a 9S tri-band, but it looks like the UV5R, which is what we're basically going to be talking about today. Okay, and I have the little stubby antenna on it. But um, this is a great little radio. I've had this one for a couple of years. It's a tri-bander, and uh, it's a great little radio. It puts out five watts, just like advertised. Uh, used to be the Chinese radios put out really low wattage uh, compared to what they're supposed to put out. Now, if Baofeng says it's five watt, it's pretty close to five watt. This one puts out about 4.6 on two meter and a little over four on 440. Now, what I want to tell you about these radios is the the advertising that goes on with these is something else um, they advertise these as if they're 100% legal to just buy them type in a frequency and go uh, they come automatically programmed from the factory with just oddball frequencies some government some military uh, some uh, ham radio and so if you just pull it out of the box and start using it technically you're illegal now can these be used with GMRS? And the answer to that is yes. Um, you need to check uh, exactly to make sure that uh, that you're completely legal on that. But these can be programmed for GMRS and they're technically legal for that. Are they legal for FRS? No, because those are typist accepted radios. Technically, if you put your FRS UHF frequencies in this radio for FRS, the family radio service, you would be violating FCC. I'm just letting you know um, because this puts out more wattage and has a higher gain antenna uh, than the type accepted radios would have. Okay, that's really the only difference. But just so we're clear, FRS on this, technically illegal. Now let's move on to the false advertising. I see all the time these advertised for crazy things. I see them with 10 watts and 12 watts. Now, there is a couple of portables now that are being made. Uh, the UV25, which is the new one from Baofeng. It's a big brick. Uh, that one there, hey, uh, it's been uh, tested and it's putting out between 10 and 11 watts uh, on both 2 meter and 440. So a great performing radio. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is dispel the rumor that cheap Chinese radios all put out horrible spurless transmissions that's just not true uh it's been slowly cleaned up over time and most of the new ones coming out now fairly clean the second thing is is that baofeng radios are illegal and as we've covered in previous videos they're not illegal okay there's nothing illegal about them until you press that little button on the side what you do with the radio makes it illegal okay but owning it i'm not talking about selling it I'm not talking about using it. I'm talking about having it, holding it, owning it, perfectly legal. Now, when you start talking on it, you need to make sure that you're speaking somewhere that you're allowed to be on. Ham radio, uh, GMRS. Uh, in some cases, uh, you may want to use it with marine band. Uh, you may want to just use it to pick up the FM radio. These things are used for a lot of different things. But you want to make sure that the radio you buy does what you want it to do. Now, that gets us to the advertising for these things. I see these things advertised on eBay, uh, on Wish, and all these cheap sites out there that have the inexpensive uh, stuff. Uh, and I also see them on Amazon. The difference is when you buy them on Amazon, the advertisement tends to be pretty realistic because people on Amazon, uh, distributors and sellers on Amazon are held to a much higher standard than eBay 
and on eBay, they're held to a much higher, higher standard than say on Wish or some of these foreign sites. And so because of that, it's reflected in the advertising that you see. It's not uncommon to see a advertisement for a 10 watt radio. And when they're tested, they come out pretty close to 10 watts. But then we get into some of our other websites and these radios are being sold with all kinds of crazy numbers out there. Would you believe there's advertisements that say that this is a 300 watt radio and that it transmits for 10 kilometers? How about if I told you it's a 200 watt radio and it transmits for 120 kilometers? Oh, that's just too hard to believe. Yeah, I know. What if I told you um, that this thing right here, okay, and I'm looking because there's a bunch of these here uh, that I'm choosing from. What if I told you it had a 5,800 milliamp battery in that little spot right there? It has a 5,800 milliamp battery and it talks for two, uh, let's see, uh, 1,200 or 120 kilometers, 120 kilometers, um, kilometers. How, how's that even possible? Um, there's other ones here. 18 watts, big power. Do you really believe a radio this size is going to put out 18 watts? I mean, that would burn you, okay? Um, and then there's even more crazy ones, like 16 watts. An 880 milliamp battery in a spot that big. That's the UV-10R they're advertising there. It's 16 watts. Now, you know when they test that, it's going to be probably the 8-watt version of the UV-5R is probably what it is. And they've just... They've just boosted up the number on there. You got the UV-13 Pro. It talks for 50 kilometers. Could you believe that? 50 kilometers. You can have this little radio, hello, and then 50 kilometers away, some 30-something miles away, uh, you could just key up and say, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then you get the crazy one. What if I told you that Baofeng sells this radio? in a 12,000 watt version. <laughs> I mean, that's just ridiculous. So this is like a, a broadcast station at 12,000 watts, a type A station. Um, I gotta tell you, this is disheartening to see all these stupid numbers and, and them preying on people that don't understand what milliamps are or what wattage is. And so just be very careful when you buy your radios. In years past, the Chinese radios would say they were 8 watts or 5 watts, and we'd get them in, they were like 3 or 2. We used to call that the Chinese conversion on wattage. I will admit, that's going away. The last two or three radios I've tested uh, that came out of the Baofeng factory put out exactly what they were uh, what they were supposed to put out. Now, what you get from the factory is what the radio does, generally speaking. It's the aftermarket selling that creates these crazy, crazy things like this, where 12,000 watts, I mean, come on, seriously? All right, anyway, so just beware out there when you're buying these radios that uh, they're not always what they're cracked up to be. And one other quick one, Chinese mobile radios. 75 watt and 50 watt versions of Chinese radios. I have had four or five of those and they've all blown up or had transmit issues on me. They seem to have resolved the problem. The last one I bought's really good. Uh, the last two, the TYT 9800s that I bought have both been amazing radios. Um, but the uh, everything I bought before that uh, both TYT and Radioddity and Baofeng, it, it all smokes. I mean, I use it for six months. I use it on a couple of nets and it smokes. Uh, the reason is, and I'll tell you why, a lot of times on the older ones, now they're getting away from this, but a lot of times on the older ones, they would build a 25 watt radio and then they would, they would jack that thing up as high as they could get away with it just to sell it. And it's putting out 45 or 50 watts, but it's only designed to put out 25. And so it has a very short lifespan. And uh, we're finding that with a lot of the mobile Chinese radios. But again, the last couple I've bought have been really good. So watch what you buy. I, I strongly recommend the TYT9800. 
Uh, it's a knockoff of, of a very good Yazoo radio. It's a dual-sided radio. Very, very good. I got two of them back here. And um, uh, there's a lot of really good Chinese radios out there. You just got to watch what you buy and make sure the advertisement fits. Make sure it makes sense to you. Go look that radio up and make sure Baofeng actually makes one with those specs. Because I think you're going to find it's a bunch of crap. So that's it. Just uh, be leery when you're buying radios. Read the fine print. Check with the factory. Make sure that they actually sell that radio. And then look it up on Amazon where you know you can buy with some confidence because they have to, they have to give you refunds on Amazon. Therefore, they have to list what they're selling uh, a lot closer to the truth. And so um, if I look something up on Amazon and I find it there, uh, and uh, the numbers are all there in Amazon. Uh, I usually have pretty good luck. I buy it, and it does pretty much what it says it does. And that's the bottom line. Do your research. Don't buy from these wish sites and stuff unless you just want something that you can't get somewhere else. Um, I, I would stick to Amazon and as a backup eBay uh, and uh, buy your radios from, from uh, through Amazon so that you have that 100% return guarantee. All right, guys, that's it. My name's Ian. This is Starship Adventures. I hope to see you down the log and maybe on the next adventure.